Okay, here we are. We're back in the booth and we're fitting the extract ventilation. See you in a minute. Right, well as you can see now, I've actually got this uh, flexible 12 inch pipe attached to me uh, main ducting that goes outside. You see that in the previous video. So all I'm gonna do now is to cut in our actual filter box membrane into uh, our OSB board here. And I've just drawn the outline where we're gonna put it basically. I've allowed if we needed to get another one in below, we could always do that afterwards. And likewise, if we wanted to, we could put another one up there as well. So that's all hopefully not going to be necessary. So we're going to try and get away with just using the one at the moment. So everything outside is now up, secured and sealed. I'm going to cut this hole in here, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, there's that cut in now. So we just mocked together a little table just to sit the fan on. We've measured the height, we hope we got it right. Hey? Just sit it under there. Right, now get that on. That's gonna go there like that, hopefully. Now hopefully the middle of that fan will match up to the middle of our hole. How's that look? That's not bad, is it? Well, there we go, that's nice. We'll have a seal around in the inside there, obviously. So, uh, and this ducting is going to be terminated on the, the back here. That's going to be the setup, just to give the people a general idea on what we're trying to achieve here. Right, we're not, we're not officially open for the fan yet, but just switch it on, see what happens. Right, well, I know that was going to blow out the way anyway. But as you can see, this is going to be the extract there. So in here we can sink. I mean, that's really sucking out of there. I can feel that, so that hopefully should be good. If we had any smoke in here, we could have just put smoke here and just seen how it runs into there. That's, the, that's gonna be ideal. That's really pushing that duct in away. Once that goes up there, that's gonna be the look there. How's that look, all right? Right, so coming back inside, this grill now is going to get fitted onto there. So the dual filtration which we're going to have, inside there will be a panel filter which will be a carbon filter, which will be able to rip draw through the back. We'll cut a slot in this box lid here and you can just drop it in. This is going to be fixed onto the surface like that. And then we'll put our gauze over the top, our, pre, our actual panel filter for inside the booth. And then we've got another one of these which will be fixed on top 
And so all you're going to basically see is a blue square of filter membrane. This is the one that's going to get changeable. This is the one that holds on to all the stickiness of the paint and all that. And this, this clogs up on a sort of a weekly basis, I would imagine. So all you've got to do is remove the outer cover of this or the top one of this, pull it out and have another cut measured bit in there. And I'm sure you'll find that that's going to be a nice little job. It's a nice little finished way of attaching an explosion proof fan to our booth to take away the fumes directly vented outside. Right, so as you can see, that's the pipe's going to sit inside. We've got one of these 12 inch flange, which fitted lovely just inside this flexible pipe there. And the beauty of this is, I'll just pull the ducting out of the way for the minute. As you can see, this 12 inch flange fits nicely inside there. And all we're going to do, we're going to take the four screws out that hold the uh, internal grill through and then we're going to mark them and then we're going to fix them through into this flange so the flange is held in place and then that will be the permanent fixture. Well I don't know about you but I'm very pleased with the way this has turned out now. We're going to fill that hole in um, probably tomorrow. Then we're going to go down to the other end tomorrow and just cut a hole out with the wire grill like you've seen on the inside to put the membrane on from the inside. Then once we get the doors on, we'll be able to see if it seals up and draws air this way. If not, we'll put a small intake fan, slightly smaller than this one. And uh, that should push air this way so it all gets extracted. Right, there we go, there's our grill now in. It's only in temporary at the moment. I'm gonna put proper hooks up here and also a proper cleat down there where we can just do it in one turn. We've only just put it on temporary. But as you can see, that's our external filter membrane inside the booth now. And we buy that on a big roll. And if we took that off, when we get our carbon filter, that will just sit in the back there in the, the actual box area as you saw as well. So that's that sorted out. So basically all we've got to do then, we're gonna, as you say, cleat that onto there, drill through there and fix this through there, that will be our solid fixing on there like that. We can turn our fan on and off from there, which isn't a problem whatsoever. And also around here, I'm gonna install some sealant around here. Right, okay, Jimmy, turn the fan on. We've just secured all that lot now at the back, so you'll see that in a second. Right, and let's see if it's sucking out all right. Hold it up near. As you can see, look, that's sucking out now. It's got quite a good pull on it, look. And we're happy with that. That's the whole setup now. We fixed that tube into there, as you can see, with uh, some screws going through there. We're gonna run some sealer around there and also around the inside edge there. And then that's that unit finished. Hello Jimmy, where are you? There we go, look at that. Let's have a little look around now. We've got the bifolding door on now. 
we've got to adjust it up and put the hinge plates on or the stop brackets but uh, let's come inside the booth now as you can see let's give us a whole lot more space so you can just swing that door shut behind me Jim there we go look how nicely that door shuts don't forget we've got to sort all the hinges out and locks and all that turn the fan on Jim And there's our extraction. You probably can't hear that properly, but that's all well and good. There we go. It's turned out very nice indeed. Switch it off. And as I say, this is the uh, doors now in place. If I just push that open gently, look, you can see. There we go. As I say, I know they're not fully adjusted up yet, but uh, that will fold back like that. And then this one comes back like that. And that then gives us enough swing to, to basically get a car in. Right, we're going to leave it here for now, as I say, because the uh, light, light's now against us. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video anyway. We'll be doing some more tomorrow, and you'll probably see that in the next video. So until then, bye for now.